today's video of Math Strategies Made Simple with Mrs. Braun. Today we're going to be looking at graphing information from a table onto a coordinate grid. So for today's example, we're going to be looking at plant growth measured in centimeters on a weekly basis. So my x value here is going to be time. Every week is what I'm going to be looking at. So I'm looking at time here. And then my y value is going to be growth. We're measuring that in centimeters. So before I get started, I'm going to go ahead and label my axis. So my y is growth in centimeters. And my x is going to be time measured in weeks. with the data that I collected from this experiment. And when I first started, it was a seed. And so I'm going to start at my origin of 0, 0. After week 1, we had 2 centimeters of growth. Week 2, it was 6 centimeters tall. Week 3, it was 8 centimeters tall. Week 4, it was 10 centimeters tall. And week 5, it was 16 centimeters tall. Now looking at my table here, I can see that my weeks increased by one each time, and but my growth kind of varies a little bit, but my highest growth is 16 centimeters. So looking at the space that I have here on my graph, I know down on the bottom I can use one, two, three, four, five, because I'm going to be counting up to the fifth week. And along the side though, I need to get to 16, so I'm going to have to scale my lines a little bit here. So I'm actually going to count by twos. So I can show the growth all on this one graph. Now when you're scaling and you're counting, you want to make sure that everything is spaced up evenly and you're using the same interval each time. Now let's take our points and let's graph them. So in the first point is 0, 0. It started out at the origin. After the first week, it was 2 centimeters tall. On the second week, so I started with my 2, it was 6 centimeters tall. I'm going to go up to the 6. On the third week, it was 8 centimeters tall. I'm going to go up to the 8. On the fourth week, it was 10 centimeters tall. And then on the fifth week, it was 16 centimeters tall. Yeah, the growth jumped there. All right. Now, we graphed our points. And if you want, you can kind of sketch and connect those and see how they're One of the patterns that we have there. So this is our growth of this plant after five weeks of watching it. So let's look at some questions that we might see when we're looking at oh, me, when we're looking at graphs like this. So our first question is how much did the plant grow from week one to week five? So what I'm looking at here, here's week one, and I'm looking at week five. So I'm looking at this difference here. Okay, so I'm going from 2 to 16. So to find the answer to that question, I can just subtract to find the difference. 16 minus 2 is 14. And so it grew 14 centimeters. Let's look at one other question. Which amount did the plant have the greatest which week, excuse me, did the plant have the greatest amount of growth? So I'm going to be looking at different spots where I see growth. And the plant grew every week. There's some growth here. And there we had a growth from 6 to 2, which is 4 centimeters. But my, this catches my eye up here. It grew from 10 all the way to 16. So to find the difference there, six centimeters. And so that is the greatest amount of growth that that plant experienced. So six centimeters and we see coming on down it was week four to five. All right so here's an example for you. I want you to look at growing a plant like this. 
Stay deep, you rock it. I hope this video was helpful and we'll see you again soon.